Hey everybody, Paulio Jr. here. Just wanted to show you guys a really cool program uh, called Driver Easy. Uh, this program will allow you um, to scan your computer for any drivers that are either outdated but more importantly that are missing. Uh, so if you have a device that you've plugged in or a piece of hardware that's inside the computer that's not working properly, uh, this program will automatically scan for the device and get the driver for you automatically. I mean, it's like literally like a one-two click. What you're going to want to do uh, is go to DriverEasy.com uh, and then click in the middle with uh, Download Now and it'll work for anywhere from Windows XP to Windows 8. So for any of those old maybe devices that aren't um, that, you can't, that you've been scouring all over the web for you can't find, uh, Driver Easy will definitely find them and, and install it for you as well. So you come to the next screen here. Uh, when it's finished downloading, this is the main screen. This is the newest version. It's the free version of 4.6. Um, what you would do uh, it, at the main screen, it'll sh main screen at the main screen, it'll show you like some system information, things about your computer, you know, your machine, your processor, yada yada yada. And from there, you would click uh, the Scan Now option in the middle. And basically what that'll do is that'll go, once you click that, it'll show you like this huge bar and it'll just be going through every device that's either plugged into your computer uh, or that's inside your computer and see if those, hard, if those pieces of hardware are not installed uh, or, need, or need updating. Uh, but more importantly, uh, that they're not installed. Um, so that takes about maybe like 10, 20 seconds. You come to this next screen. If you see on the left, it'll show you the outdated drivers. Uh, you know, my system it says I have 18 outdated drivers. I'm not worried about that. But what you would be kind of concerned about are the missing drivers on the left. So you have seven missing drivers. Um, you know, for me, I have seven missing drivers, so that would be something to look at. Um, so, for instance, like I had like a Microsoft keyboard. It's a USB. It works, but what it would do when I did the driver easy and I got the driver for it is all the little function keys on it started to work, like the my pictures, my documents, my music, the calculator, all that stuff. It didn't work before, and I got it through this. But this would even work, if, for instance, if you wanted to get a driver for a printer, a video card, a sound card, uh, you know, a hard drive, anything like that. Uh, so this you would click uh, get drivers and you would come to this screen. Now none of your bars would be full, they would all be empty. Um, and since you're using the free version, you can actually only download one driver at a time. And the speed limit on it is usually between 30 and 40 kilobytes a second with the free version. If you do get the Pro, it's unlimited and you can download all the drivers at one time. Uh, which is pretty good, I guess, if you had you know, say more that you know, maybe at least like eight, eight or more things that you want to download or that were pretty large files. You didn't want to wait forever. Uh, you could download them all. Uh, but if you're doing them individually, you would click download, wait for it to go through, and then you would click the install on the right hand side. And from there, uh, it would install the driver for you. You might have to restart or whatnot, um, but that software is always available for you if you do need to uh, revert back to it later. And then this, these are just some extra screens. They have, uh, they have a tools option. So they have a hardware information, a driver backup, a driver restore, driver uninstall, offline. You can do an offline scan as well uh, and a Windows update. Hardware information, just going to show you like a, a really brief system summary. Um, you can restore drivers. You can back your drivers up. You can even uninstall your drivers. Um, a lot of the stuff you can do in Windows, but it's just cool to have this feature if you don't really know how to get to it through Windows. Um, but yeah, a lot of it's made just really a lot of general information. Um, a lot of this you can actually do uh, in the device manager uh, in any version of Windows. It'll have uh, most of these options, or if you're in the system of Windows, it'll have a lot of these options as well. And then the next screen uh, that comes up that you can click on is the settings screen.
and that's this screen. So you have a couple options in here. You have general, uh, which you can pick a language, um, and you can even help driver easy um, with their program if they have any problems or whatnot. It's all anonymous, you, and you can save it to the bottom right. Internet connection, that's if you want to use a proxy. You don't have to. Uh, system restore is automatically set to set it'll set a system restore point before it creates the um, before it installs the driver so if there are any problems it will you can revert back to your old settings you can also do a, a task a scheduled task where it will um, you know like a virus scan it'll schedule a task um, you know to do a scan if your drivers need to be updated and so forth so sorry about the slides for some reason it would not let me do a video capture for this so I had to do it slide by slide taking pictures of it so please subscribe I hope this helped thanks guys